All right, today we're in one of Kansas City's most historic neighborhoods, Pendleton Heights. I brought my beautiful bride along with me <laughs> and we're going to kind of explore the neighborhood. I'm gonna, we're going to show you some of the houses and what it's like to eat, live, breathe, sleep and play in Pendleton Heights after this. All right, so today we're in Pendleton Heights. We're in one of the most uh, historic streets, Gladstone Boulevard. Uh, it's a really cool area and we're right outside the Kansas City Museum. So this is a really awesome historic museum uh, located right here in Pendleton Heights. So real quick geography where we're at in Kansas City. So we're right by downtown Kansas City, just on the east side. In fact, this whole area is called the Northeast and it's just uh, south of the river and uh, east of City Market and Columbus Park and sort of sort of uh, northeast from like Power and Light District and kind of where all the hustle and bustle is going. And I think that's what really makes this unique is that you can get one of these like massive, amazing, like very historical type homes uh, at a little bit lower of a cost than maybe what you would find, say like right in the heart of downtown, but yet you're just minutes from downtown. So it's really easy to kind of get in a car and and head right over and get over there. And so, you know, the thing about Pendleton Heights too is there's a lot of variety of homes too. So a lot of them are, you know, uh, these beautiful massive homes on this street in particular, Gladstone Boulevard, but on you get to some of the other streets and some of the homes are different sizes and shapes, but they're all gonna be like very historical, like 100 year old homes, which is really cool. Um, and that, it just has a lot of really awesome character. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be kind of, I'm gonna kind of show you some of the houses, what they look like. Um, and then here's kind of the front of the museum. So it's pretty cool. It's like a freaking mansion. So, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of really cool little places to go around here. There's a Cliff Drive, which is kind of this really uh, cool park and you can have disc golf, uh, you can have a picnic and all those kinds of things. And then you can kind of see behind me, there's some more uh, classical, huge houses over there. There's also a little coffee shop in the neighborhood, PH Coffee. And um, you can go over there, uh, get some really cool craft coffee. And uh, they have like, you know, different things to eat. And it's just kind of a fun little meeting spot uh, to check out when you're uh, in Pendleton Heights. So as far as, you know, uh, you know, right now in this market, we're seeing pricing of homes changing, you know, day by day. But, you know, a lot of the houses in this area are gonna be around that two to $300,000 price range. And then of course, when you get into these like castles, um, you're gonna get kind of in the millions and upwards of that. Um, but, you know, you can definitely find something pretty affordable in this area. A lot of these are your um, traditional, like very colonial style homes. If you um, love a good front porch, <laughs> you love a good porch swing, this is your spot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they all have those huge stone front porches. Uh, you can kind of see behind me as I'm going down the you street. You can restore it and have it be, you know, back to its original state, or you can just put like that modern touch on it, which some people have done, but a lot of these houses are kind of like there for someone to come in and put their touch on. Yeah, definitely. Actually, we uh, we actually acquired a property in this neighborhood and um, kind of put our touch on it and um, kind of made it unique to what we, what we wanted to do and designed it and then uh, put it back on the market and sold it. Uh, so it was a pretty cool experience. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of investors in this neighborhood as well. A lot of people investing. Uh, it's a very up and coming area. And I think that, you know, it's definitely something that's on the map and a lot of people are keeping their eyeballs on it. Uh, like I said, because you're kind of right next to downtown, you can get one in one of these, you know, really cool, amazing homes that have so much character and um, you can get it at a little bit more of a discount versus on other parts of downtown and other parts of Kansas City that are closer, like say, or even say like, you know, this in comparison to like Brookside or even in Waldo, um, you're gonna get a little bit more for your money here in Pendleton Heights versus kind of going into a neighborhood like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's amazing what they're doing as far as work goes. 
Um, you know, and as I kind of turn the corner here, you can kind of see there's more of these huge castle type houses. Uh, they're actually completely redoing this one as we speak right here. Uh, this blue huge house right here. And um, yeah, it's just amazing kind of going through here looking at these different houses. You can kind of see the back of the museum there. Yeah, very Victorian, classical style homes. This area was developed. It's one of the original neighborhoods in Kansas City. Um, this was like where a lot of the a lot of the wealth and a lot of the uh, very affluent people lived for a very long time, a long, long time ago. And um, it's kind of interesting, you know. A lot of the you'll see a lot of that in Kansas City. Um, a lot of these areas that at one point were kind of where the all the luxury homes were and then you know through the american history and transition things changed a lot and then now that we're kind of coming back to things uh we're seeing a lot of these older areas getting uh, revitalized and people moving in and redoing them modernizing them but keeping a lot of the old character and uh, those things so look at this i mean we're talking castles in kansas city right um what's really cool is uh so I'm kind of getting close to Cliff Drive here. Like I said, the little park you can kind of go ride your bike on, but you can see kind of behind me, you get a nice view of the skyline, uh, kind of the downtown Kansas City. Like I said, that's that's west of us right now. We're on the east side. So I'm gonna kind of show you some houses, play a little B-roll, little music for you guys, can kind of see what it looks like to kind of be in Pendleton Heights, what some of the homes look like and some of the streets. And, uh, you know, maybe it's something that you might be thinking about. Also, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way, anytime I'm dropping these knowledge bombs, you're gonna get notified. And uh, again, I'm a licensed broker here in Kansas City, in Missouri and Kansas. Uh, I help people relocate every day. I love making these videos, but more importantly, I love helping people relocate and find their dream home in Kansas City. My information is below. You can call, text, email me anytime, day or night. I got your back when it comes to moving to Kansas City and we'll catch you next time.